So I went grocery shopping today and I did not clean up my fridge before I went. So I came home and I literally had 10 minutes to chuck it all in the fridge because, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a really sore throat. Um, I told the kids I was gonna take them swimming. So I now need to sort this mess out. And this mess out. And I think it even spilled over into this cupboard, which is all just a total mess. So I'm going to sort it and I will show you the after. So I've emptied out the fridge and I thought I would just keep it real and show you exactly how disgusting it is. I do like I wipe it out every week when I go shopping, but just like a quick wipe, you can actually see the evidence of the cloth there. But look at this. This is the salad drawer. It's just disgusting. I mean, we could pick up like a disease. These are just, this is just embarrassing. I don't even know what this is. It's some sort of fruit that the kids have just dumped in there. It's, there's even a frozen pea in there. <clears throat> it's just gross. And now I'm going to show you exactly what I took out of the fridge. This is two tables, not the fruit bowl, that was just there anyway, full of food. I don't even know how we fit all this in. Um, let's do a shop my disgusting fridge haul. So I've got half eaten jars of every type of mustard in the world, every type of chutney in the world. I think I've got, that's one hummus. I think there's two more. There's a Greek style yogurt that expired on the 1st of April. Um, what else have we got? Oh wow, look. Three pots of creme fraiche. One which was half used and the lid wasn't even put back on, which is probably completely expired and it has all that disgusting, slimy stuff at the top. This one expired on the 12th of April, five days ago. This one also. Then I've got an old bowl of some sort of disgusting fish which I think has been in the fridge for about three weeks that Dave put on his lunch. Um, there's various bits of, oh no, that's a fruit shoot. Uh, pieces of cucumber, carrots. Oh, there's some asparagus here from 21st of February with all that disgusting uh, bin juice, which has now gone all over my newly painted table. Um, what have we got over here? Oh, some disgusting moldy old ham, which is probably giving us all a type of disease uh, mixed in with our roast for Sunday. My phone keeps running out of space, so I think I got to the part about our Sunday roast meat sucking disease from this disgusting old ham that I've just left in the fridge because I'm clearly too lazy to keep on top of this. I mean, what, you know, what is this? This is brandy sauce. This is from Christmas. This is, this is just embarrassing. Oh, used by the 6th of January, 2014. It's not going to focus, but that is what it says. So I'm going to whip my butt into action and fix this right now. Now. So that literally took me about five minutes to pull all of these out and disinfect and wash them um, and then to wipe all the shelves down um, and disinfect and wash and I literally did it while the dinner was cooking so I'm just obviously pure lazy but that is done and now I'm going to try and get all of this back in Ta-da! I finished! And it literally took me under an hour to wash and disinfect everything and sort everything out. So I've packed it all back in and on the top we've got like butter and margarine and then I put all of the cheese in that basket. Wow, we eat a lot of cheese. Then, this was actually an idea I got from Pinterest. It's like a snack basket because my kids chomp and chomp and chomp and snack and snack all day. So I thought I'd try that. So it's just got like their yogurt tubes, some hummus, some sweet peppers, some cheese triangles and some carrots so they can just grab that. 
because they're always looking for something in the fridge. And this whole shelf is sort of snacky things. So it's strawberries, there's some coleslaw for lunch. Um, and then all of their, well, some of them are my yogurts and some of them are theirs. And then on the next shelf, I keep running out of space. It's driving me crazy. So Shanna won that chick and she's keeping it for Easter. That's a half eaten Easter egg from school, I think. And then I've then on this shelf I've got the meat for the week, we're having lamb on Sunday and I've got some pork sausages and a chicken, some minced meat and some chicken fillets and then all of the salad and veg is down there and then in the doors I've just put all the chutney and jam, I'm not the world's best organiser so I've just put it, well things I think group together um, and some custard. Mm -hmm. 